time in YouTube and welcome back to another Deck Wizard episode on our channel. Today we are going to be looking over Rotom from Fates Collide. Rotom is a 70 HP lightning Pokemon with energy extract and plasmagic. Uh, for one lightning energy, we can use energy extract. Search your deck for basic energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Cool. So, in other words, turn one, if we get to attack, we'll have two energies set up on Rotom for the next turn. Plasmagic, move two damage counters from each of your Pokemon to your opponent's active. That's kind of cool, if you do a lot of damage to yourself. So, can we get Rotom to work in a theme deck when everybody gets hurt all the time? We're not sure, we'll see, but I thought it was a kind of a neat one, especially at the time of recording this, the uh, Pokedex Rotom was just recently announced, so I thought it was kind of fitting. Uh, we're gonna go continue, let's get this deck list underway. What do we have? We're gonna just go for the nice expand here. We have a one and one of the Mega Kangaskhan and Kangaskhan, er, Mega Kangaskhan and regular Kangaskhan line. Okay. We have two Shaman with the setup ability. This means we've got a little bit of card draw, which is nice. Uh, we have two of the Dragon Rayquaza EX, two fire, one, one lightning energy, one colorless Dragon Strike for 130. Kind of cool. Uh, we have the colorless one, Intensifying Burn and Dragon Pulse. We have one Mega Dragon Form Rayquaza and three colorless Mega Rayquazas. We have in a Mulgi EX 110 HP Lightning type Pokemon with Energy Glide, one colorless energy. Search your deck for an electric energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. If you attach energy in this way, switch this Pokemon with one of your benched. So I can attach an energy from attack and then switch out. Kind of cool. It also has Electric Crush, 1 Lightning Energy, 2 Colorless, 60 damage. You may discard energy. Pardon me. Whoa! There we go. Uh, you may discard energy attached to this Pokemon if you do this attack does 30 more damage. This is a terrible EX. Terrible. But we're going to use it because this is what the deck wizard has asked us to use. Uh, called it. I was talking with Lady Eon a little earlier and I said I was doing the Rotom episode and I called that I was going to get a Magnazone EX and sure enough, here he is, big boy himself with Electro Ball and Dual Bullet. Uh, we have a 1 in 1 line of the Manectric and Mega Manectric EX line, which is beautiful, I love those cards. We have 4 glorious Rotoms to try out today. Starting our items, we have 1 Great Ball, just 1, can't have more than that, just 1. We found it in the trash can on uh, the great SSN. Uh, we have four hand scope, uh, so we can always see what our opponent has in their hand. Two max revives, so that we can put a card of ours from our discard pile and put it onto our deck, so we can actually grab it next turn. We have Team Magma's Great Ball for all those Team Magma's Pokemon in the deck. Search your deck for a basic Team Magma Pokemon and a basic Fighting Energy. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Uh, so that's going to be useless to us. We have a Pokemon Center Lady. Heal 60. Remove all special conditions. I love having one of these cards and I'm really, really thankful for having one. Why am I on? <sighs> Sorry guys. I hate doing that. Uh, we have three Professor Birch's Observation, which is nice. We have two Wally for all those non-EX evolutions we have. We have two of these. So apparently we need to get all those evolutions off right away. Except for the fact that Rotom is the only non-EX Pokemon in the deck. Not, not necessarily important. We have Dimension Valley. Each psychic type uh, psychic Pokemon's attacks cost one less one colorless less. Uh, I do recall seeing a psychic Pokemon in there at one point. No, sorry, that was just my imagination. Uh, we have Groudon Spirit Links! Got all the Rayquazas in the world! But we're getting Groudon Spirit Links! Oh my Jesus, this is awesome! I love this deck! So much humor and creativity behind it. Uh, we have 7 fi Fire Energies and 13 Lightning Energies. So guys, do you think we're going to get a win today? I'm starting to doubt myself a little bit. Because if I can't pull a win with this, I don't know if I know how to play Pokemon. 
I don't know if I'm actually going to get a win. Just saying. I think this, th there's a lot of problems with this one. But we are going to save this deck right now. And we're going to call that Rotom. Uh, go for the good old save. Thank you. And we're going to get straight into a match of Pokemon TCG online. And hopefully we don't get crushed too badly. Alright guys. Game number one. We're playing a Mangos 1109. And they're gonna get the coin toss here. I do believe they are playing a water deck, so we win this coin toss. We're gonna play first. Because I might actually need it. Not sure though. We are starting with a Rotom, and you know what? I think it's only fitting that I lead with Rotom. I don't care if we win it. Rotom is our leader, and he is our almighty savior. So we're gonna throw down Rayquaza and Amulga. And uh, our opponent gets to finish selecting their Pokemon right now. Uh, only has the one basic, and it is a shiny Seeker Rare Gyarados. I don't know if I can handle that thing. But we're going to move that <clears throat> Lightning Energy over to the Rotom. As I go for a hand scope, I can see what you have. We see the Splash Energy, Rough Seas, a Dive Ball, a couple Water Energy, and a BS Seeker. So nothing too, too over the top. We're going to end our turn there. And we're going to see what our opponent is going to do. Goes for the Dive Ball, as assumed. Uh, places the Splash Energy down. Goes for a Manaphy for that free retreat. I like it. I like that little bit of synergy right there. Goes for the Stormy Seas. One heads. That's all you get. I believe that's one Water Energy. <clears throat> yes, it is. All right, we get another Lightning Energy. Going to attach it to my Emulga here. And I might actually retreat here. This might seem like a weird play, but Amulga might actually get the knockout here. So I'm going to go for the energy glide. And I apologize if you guys can hear that. My phone is going off randomly. <clears throat> I'm going to go into the Rotom again. We see a water energy hit the Gyarados, so there's one more left. Does not get it from the Stormy Seas, which is kind of disappointing for my opponent. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, because unfortunately I do need to switch out. We're going to go for the energy glide, get that lightning energy, and go back into Rotom. Now, if I sacrifice, is it just one? If I sacrifice just one, I might be able to take out this Gyarados EX with a Mulga. That would be insane. That would be really insane. Gets a Remoraid. That's alright, I can handle a Remoraid. Throws it down on the bench. Throws down that nice water energy. Now go for the knockout. I dare you go for the knockout. I am fine with you doing that because I will just go for the electric. You go for the knockout. My poor Rotom goes down. You do 10 damage to each of your own mons, and I'm going to come in here. I'm going to destroy your Gyarados with an Amulga. I am not Megevil. I have the opportunity to knock this thing out. So we're going to go for that Electron Crush. Yes, we're doing 30 more damage. And yes, we're knocking out a Gyarados. Oh yeah, that is amazing. But he do they do get it back. That's a bit of a problem. So we get a Great Ball and a Rotom. Brings out the Remory. I'm alright with this. I can knock that thing out too. Get that good old Gyarados back on the bench. Drops the Water Energy onto it. We have no Lysander in the deck. Rough Seas. Heals off all that stuff. Goes for the Gyarados Spirit Link. I will not be knocking that thing out now. Uh, why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You just put your Gyarados in range of being knocked out. Tails, no energy for you. No energy for you. I am all right. Thank you, Amulga. You just got us a freaking game one victory over a Gyarados, a Mega Gyarados deck, because she decided to switch back in. I don't know why she did that. I don't know why she did that. But we're going into game number two with one victory behind us. That is insane. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Uh, can Amulga actually be the victorious Pokemon we've been looking for this whole time? I don't know. 
Uh, Rotom, you are leading us to victory. I know you went down, but you went down for a good reason. Just remember that. You went down for a good reason. I probably played that really badly, but we came out of that victorious, and I'm super stoked for it. So game number two, here we come. Can we win one more time? All right. Who's our next opponent? It's Greymon! Greymon is our next opponent in today's battle. And the question is, what will we be seeing from our good old Greymon? We're going to see a loading screen for one. All right. We see that he gets the coin toss, which is fine by me. Usually they have better luck than I do. Uh, see what I mean? They won the coin toss by calling heads like most people should. He's passing us the turn. He wants us to go first. I am so happy about that. Except my hand is real booty. It's real booty. Oh. I don't know if I can even call this a turn. We're going to throw up the Magnezone. We'll throw in the Rayquaza. We have a Beldum start here, so we can throw that energy right down. We'll go for the hand scope. Let's see what he has. Alugi EX. I want to say you're playing... I don't know what you're playing. I wanted to say hand gross, but it's not likely the case. We're just going to get rid of this. We have no cards there and no valley cards there, so we just got rid of that card. Beautiful. And we're going to end our turn. What else useful junk can we get today? I wonder if we can even get this Electro Ball off. That'll be exciting if we do. He's going to go for the tier note, draw three cards. We did not get any tier notes, actually. <clears throat> but he can play that, uh, that Lugia. May not want to. Plays another Beldum. So that must be one of the cards he drew from the Tyranno. Because I did not see it in that hand of his. And the question is, is he going to play that Lugia? Because that would be insane if he did. Okay. I do believe my opponent has a few ideas up his sleeve that he does not want us to see just yet. Not just yet. The question is, can I get another lightning energy and start attacking next turn? I hope so. We see the bronze ore that we did see in his hand. Itchy ear. Itchy, itchy ear. There we go. Itches on the itchy are now removed. We see the Steel Energy drop onto the Benched Beldum, and he does not go for that Ram damage. So we get no attack, nothing whatsoever. We have to pass the turn. I'm not going to throw up those Dimension Valleys unless he plays a Stadium. They are just simply there to counter what he plays. So unfortunately, we have no energy, so our hand is not doing too hot. We see a Metang in the active position, or sorry, on the bench. Why do I say the active position? I don't know. I'm crazy. That's what I am. Misty's Determination, discard a card, and what card will it be? A Steel Energy, so he can bench it, or grab it from the Bronze Song. He can go for any card in the top eight cards of the deck. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I don't like Misty's Determination, to be quite honest with you. Giovanni Scheme, much better card. <clears throat> Skyla, much better card. Misty's Determination, and eh, you have, okay, potential Deem decks. That's about it. <clears throat> Question is, what are we going to see? We see another Steel Energy on the Metang in the back. You're not fooling me, buddy. I saw Lugia. I'm sure I saw it. And you know what? I'm so sure. I'm looking again. There it is. That's a Lugia EX. And I don't know why he hasn't played it. But he has another Tyranno in the back and a teammate. Unfortunately, I have to end my turn again. <clears throat> Magnazone, you make a great wall. Great wall. Tyranno! Beautiful play. Wish I had something I could draw cards with. Uh, but Wally just Wally just wanted to come into my hand just a little bit more. We have a roller skates, goes for the heads, gets three more cards. Hand is looking like a hand gross hand to me. Ancient Tree Meta Gross with the machine gun stomp. That's a hand gross deck. Too bad I don't have an N. Cause that would be pretty cool. I that thing would become so weak. It's not really a standard deck. It like it was really cool back in the time, but now it's against me right now. It'll tear me apart limb from limb because there's nothing I can do. I can't even attack. 
Roller skates, more cards for the hand possibly. No, no cards for you. Put that roller skates into the discard pile. You fell on your butt. You fell on your butt, you don't deserve it. Why would you attach to that, but tell them? Why wouldn't you set, well I guess you're set up. I guess you're set up, I guess I'm not. Why didn't you go for 10 damage? Why didn't you do it? I'm gonna attach this energy and I'm gonna go for 40. Cause you know what, I can do that. Like, I, I know people are going to be screaming, Why aren't you setting up the Rayquaza? Why aren't you setting up the Rayquaza? Because this thing is already going to eat me alive! It's going to eat me alive! Tierno! Three more cards! And that's no VS Seekers. That is three Tiernos they've got. We have a Roller Skates! Heads! Three more cards! So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a steel energy onto the beldum. Please tell me you're not just using that to rotate out. You are doing that to retreat out. And a lucky helmet to boot. Good old fashioned Metagross deck. I'm resisted so it only does 90. I get a Groudon Spirit Link. Can that go on here? Um, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you for 40. There's no point. I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna hold off on my attacks. You get more cards. I'm gonna deck you out. That's what I'm hoping to do. You only got 24 cards left. You gotta take out two more Pokemon. It's because it's all I've drawn. I can't draw any more Pokemon because I probably don't have any more in the deck because they're just useless to me. They're not not important. Muscle Band on the Metagross because I forget it's a data th uh, it's a theta double meaning it gets so much more damage it's only 130 damage to my Mag Magnezone but alas I can't do anything this Rayquaza he's gonna go down and I got another Groudon Spirit Link this is awesome I love this deck game two is exactly what I was expecting from this deck I was not expecting game one at all but this this is what I was expecting no energy, no resources, and a Rayquaza to boot. And I did call the Magnezone, so I'm happy about that. He actually got some damage off. But Rayquaza, eh eh, eh eh, eh eh, nothing. Not a go. We're gonna get crushed here. Can you take me out one shot? You do what? 20 damage? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes, you do! That is game number two out of the way. Takes us out one shot. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not surprised about that. But can we come back in game number three for a victory, or are we gonna get another big? <sighs> We're gonna find out and see in just a second. Alright, guys, final game of today, and it's going to be against Neil Alain. Neil Alien. Neil Alien. We're gonna kneel this alien. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, we're gonna go first. Yes! We have a shit. Really? Our opponent didn't even have one, but I got one of the only cards that can actually draw me cards in the deck. I got as my only Pokemon. And I got three hand scopes. We see a Breakson, so this is a Delphox variant of some sort, I think. I don't know. I might be crazy. Still no energy. It is definitely a Delphox variant does not matter. All we have is a Shaman, and he's currently in the active position. Look, I don't have a problem. If you guys want to just keep giving me rut row, I don't even know what that means. Uh, there we go. Uh, four fire energies, and now is, that is like four cards. Still nothing. Still nothing. I don't know how long we're going to go here, guys. That is currently, what, five cards? I'm going to take all of them. Six cards. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Just a little. He finally got a Fennekin. Two of them. Three of them. Uh, yes, please. I'm just drawing all these cards. I'm going to draw all of them. All of them. Thank you. We're going to play Rotom. We'll play Rayquaza. We have a couple Fennekins. We'll play the Magnezone. Just play it out. We'll see a hand scope. What does he got? He's got two fire energy, a max elixir, and a Pokemon Center Lady. 
So, we're going to play this Team Magma Ball because I do not want to put it back into my deck. We cannot use it, so there's no point in ever having it. Why did we get it? I don't know. Uh, hand scope? There we go. I used it up. Hand scope. Thank you so much. I know I could have used them later on, but I really just don't want to draw them. Uh, I forget that I can evolve you right away, which is really cool. Uh, electric energy and a mega Rayquaza. I'll just let him know that it is a deck wizard deck. And uh, hopefully he may never see this online because you never know, he might actually enjoy it. So we get another fire energy. Uh, we'll put that on. We're gonna set it up on Shaman. And the reason for this is I can retreat out. I am not going to birch just yet. I have energy. I want to use them. I can actually use this Mega Rayquaza right now. Cool. My opponent is actually trying to do a challenge, so at the very least, if he does defeat us, he'll get out a ton of Pokemon with fire types. But he has evolved into the Braxen. Uh, he can't not attack, so I'm not threatened by it. Here's a Lysander. What's she Lysander now? My Magnazone. Well, I tried. I am also not weak to fire. So Clairvoyant Eye. Clairvoyant Eye is what? Look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back on top of your deck in any order. Why didn't you hit me? I don't know. We got another Mega Rayquaza, so my plan of attack has changed. I'm gonna go for a Birch. We get a Tails, just like my luck. And I'm gonna throw up that good old thing there. I'm gonna play the Shaman. Let's do it. Draw some cards. We got a couple more energy. We got the Amolga. Ooh. Great ball. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Nothing all that great. I'll grab the Rayquaza from it. Deck Wizard. Not smart. Uh, and that will be our turn. But uh, maybe I'll even let him know. Check it out, because this is recorded. Delphox, here we go. Flickering Flames will do 40 and puts me to sleep. I stay asleep. He can knock me out all you want. I don't care. I'm going to be doing what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I can actually knock the thing out if it doesn't go break next turn. So this is unfortunate, but we are hopefully going to well, stay asleep. If they get one more energy, though, we can knock out this Delphox, which I'm A-OK -okay with. I am A-OK -okay with knocking out a Delphox. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially because he doesn't really have a whole lot of card draw in the deck. I still don't wake up. Mega Manectric. Well. Set up Amolga? Maybe? All right, we, we finally wake up on his turn. Three coin flips later, we finally wake up. Opponent definitely uh, knows we're having trouble. So he has put us back to sleep. We stay asleep. Magnazone has a fantastic nap. He is just snoring away, cannot help himself. I'm gonna throw this energy right there. Right there, I'm gonna throw it right there. We stay asleep. What a nap this is. In two turns, we're going to be knocked out. And he's got four cards back in his hand. I don't even know what he could be doing right now. He could be doing a ton of things. But unfortunately, he's not knocking us out. Uh, heads, we wake up. Doesn't matter. Does not matter in the slightest. There we go. Another energy on Emolga. Uh, that is our turn. Knock my Magnazone out, please. Just please. Knock me out. Flareon EX. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. It's so cute! Why didn't you add it on to the Flareon? Uh, to the Delphox? 
I'm confused. You sacrificed all that to switch it to... I'm so lost and confused. Fennekin takes out Magnuson, though. Because I don't think you can knock me out at 220 HP. I don't think you're knocking me out anytime soon, buddy. Uh, another big old card here. And we can get the next one started. Uh, but I will go for the Emerald Break, which will knock this Fennekin out. That is one less card for us to worry about. We're going to take a prize, and we get a Fire Energy. Keeps our energy going. Can we knock out the Flareon in one shot? No, we cannot. Should be setting up that Rotom. Mm -hmm. So we see a Scorched Earth. There it is. Scorched Earth discards a Fire Energy before he can draw two more cards. Probably looking for that break right now. Drops the Fire Energy. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it is two shot potential. I might have to switch out. Uh, I probably will. But until what? I might sacrifice a Shaman. You might have to. We have 110. 20. Oh, I can move two damage counters. Go for the attack. I don't think I've got this. He's going to take out my Mega Rayquaza right now. And we see a Wally. He was able to get that Delphox break up. So we cannot knock that thing out in one shot anymore. It's got 180 HP, I believe. And with Flare Witch, he can get as many Fire Energies from the deck. I don't want to win from pity! I don't want to win while I'm pitying! I uh, wait, what? What? Can I put this it's to the active? It's to the active. Alright. Did he just make a huge mistake? Did he just make a huge mistake? I think I'm gonna retreat. But into what? Let's go into Mulga. And I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to take this turn to Mega Evolve into my second one. I now have two fully set up Mega Rayquazas on the field. So, even though he, like, he is playing really weird. Now that he knows he's being recorded, I'm hoping he puts a little bit more effort in. I hope. Uh, we see another Flareon EX. I have no way to get those Flareons back. Misty's Determination, discard a card. He has no card draw in that deck. I don't know what's going on. Either way, he'll have his knockout in just a second. Uh, here comes a Flash Fire. Uh, that Delphox is way too overpowered. Psy Storm, 200 and... Okay, so I, re I take that back. I know we've lost this game now. Huzzah! So we have what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22. I think it's game over, my friends. I think it's game over. And we're not able to knock this thing out. Even if I had another Pokemon down, which I don't. He can knock me out here, take the game. 
have a fantastic time knowing that he just was recorded being defeat like he defeated us no problem blacksmith that's some two more energy that is a lot of energy and i do like the flareon as a secondary attacker i think he played it a little weird but um either way six energies onto the flareon as we go for a size storm 300 damage all right well guys I know I had a weird narration there because I was trying to talk to the guy, not not discourage him at all. I don't like conceding. I really don't like people conceding just to give someone else a win. It doesn't it doesn't irk right? I should have earned it. Like in that first game, I felt like I earned it, even though yeah, they conceded early. Because let's be honest, here, they played that Gyarados really badly. And in the second game, I deserved to lose because I lost that game really badly. This one, this guy deserved to win, and if he had conceded just because of the ability to, I would have felt really awful. Um, don't concede if you don't have to. This is a game. You are meant to win. If you're going to try and actually win the game, do so. Don't just give up for another person. Um, with that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed Rotom's adventure into the Pokemon world, because I got blasted, basted, and destroyed today. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, time out.